how y'all? Welcome to the Messy Studio. Got another sticker from my buddy Bram, the Ways Mill Woodturner, over in Great Britain. So let me put this in its place of prominence. Got her on my sticker cabinet, Bram. Thanks. Now in today's video, I'm going to start milling up and putting together the pieces for my carved logo sign. So come along with me if you want and see what we do. First thing I'm going to do is trim my pieces to the rough length that I'm going to use. One of the things I like about this Delta miter saw stand is the outfeeds will move out on both sides and both sides come with a stop that you can raise. So I've got my stop set from my blade. I'm right at my rough length of 22 inches. So let's start cutting. Now I'll trim them up on the table saw. Okay, time to do the glue up for my sign. I've milled these down, sanded them. The back's not so good, but that's not what has to be. I'll fill these knots and holes after it glues up. I'm gluing it to a half inch piece of plywood to keep the, this is pine fence board that, that I reclaimed and I'm gluing it to the plywood so that it keeps these from warping and cupping. I keep an old cheap Chanley uh, Chanley. I cheap. <laughs> uh, 
I still hadn't finished my second cup of coffee this morning. I keep an old cheap Stanley bench chisel. I'll sharpen up every now and then <clears throat> quickly just for glue squeeze out after the glue's set up for a little bit. That makes my cleanup time a little less when this is done. Now, I'll give this a few hours to set up and once I'm sure enough that the glue has cured sufficiently, I will fill any of these voids with like some of these knot holes and nail holes with some epoxy with a light colored sawdust mixed in so it'll blend better. And then after that cures, then I'll sand the top, cut it to size, and then start laying on my stencil. So, we'll be back. Okay, I put the stock base plate back on and the edge guide because I want a, a crisp half inch border. I'm set up, got my depth set. I'm using the profile bit. This is a pretty big sign. I realize you couldn't see me getting all of that. Sorry, but I don't have a whole lot of choice there. You don't need to see me change the base. Well, El Stupido here forgot to <laughs> the record button. I did the detailing of all the inside lines using this detail bit. You can see I got it set about a sixteenth of an inch is all. Or no, about an eighth of an inch. But you can see this thing is sharp, sharp, sharp. It's real pointy. And so I've got these cut down about an eighth of an inch. So now it's time to put the profile bit back in. Yeehaw, ride them cowboy. I'm being, you know, I don't know if you noticed or not, but I'm being real careful not to touch this carbide with any of my metal tools, like my ruler or my calipers a while ago. <clears throat> you do not want to touch carbide with anything metal. It's really brittle and it'll chip and when that happens you basically got a ruined bit and always unplug your router before you change the bits unless you just prefer living dangerously and I don't recommend that I've got the letters outlined. I've got the lathe itself outlined. I've got the details cut in. How do I want to do this? I could keep it simple. Simple is always good. All right, you don't need to watch me think. Okay, I changed in my mind again. What I'm going to do, I've got a quarter inch spiral upcut bit in the router and I've got it set to a quarter inch deep. <clears throat> I drew basically a cloud around the letters and I'm going to take that cloud down a quarter inch deep. Uh, roughly three eighths inches 
away from the letters. And then I'll put another cloud over here and then I'll do the same thing around the studio. Then, since I've already got all my detail cut, then I'll just go in and <clears throat> do the background like I normally do a quarter of an inch. So this will be textured and the cloud around the words will be flat. I don't know how it's going to look, but we're fixing to find out. Might help if I plug the router in. Plug her in, got the bit changed, got the depth set. Now I'm going to start over here with the background and come around and then I'll turn the sign around. You fat idiot. I'm so stupid! <laughs> when I did my cloud over here, I just did studi. I forgot to owe. I'm a maroon. So, gotta get my quarter inch upcut and fix that before I do anything else. See? It's a no biggie. I can fix easy. Cause the boy's a moron. Here it is so far. I gotta paint it. It's not bad. I think it'll work. Is it perfect? <laughs> not by a long shot. But, nor did I expect it to be. If I wanted perfection, I'd use a CNC. I don't have one, but that's what I'd use if I wanted perfection but then it wouldn't be hand carved, would it? I'm not slamming on you guys with CNC's, don't get me wrong. There's plenty of things that I would do with one, but I like doing this by hand. I don't think I would use a CNC for this. Unless I was selling four or five a day, then that'd be a different story. I don't think I'd have a choice. But, let me uh, get some it cleaned up a little bit around here and I'll get to painting it and we'll be back. I learned about a different transfer method that I'm going to try next time I make one of these such so that I don't have to peel all this stuff off. Alright, let me blow this off and get ready for some sanding sealer so the black doesn't bleed and I'll be back. Okay, now it's time to chamfer the edges. Got a chamfer bit in it, got the depth set. Now it's time to take the tape off. I'll come back when I get all this tape off. Okay, memory card got full. I applied a coat of basically one pound cut shellac as a sanding sealer. Once that dries, I'm gonna give it another hour. I'm gonna shoot the whole sign including the edges, black. And then I'm going to sand all of this down back to wood. I'm going to leave the lathe wood tone, natural wood. So when I'm ready to shoot it, I'll be back.
All right, let's shoot her black. All right, let that dry overnight and I'll come back tomorrow morning and we'll sand it off and see how she looks before I paint the letters. This is Ferrari red, actually Milano red, which is, so I'm only gonna show the, me painting the first letter. I think it's a waste of time to have you watch me do the rest of this. So you see where we're going. When I get done, I'll show you the finished result. Well, here it is. So far, see anything wrong? I mean, there's a lot of things wrong, but I mean, one thing is kind of glaring. And I realized when I was painting, our good buddy Mo strikes again. You know the one with the middle name Ron? Because apparently I is one. See that right there? That little section underneath the tool rest, above the bedways, that's supposed to be background. You stupid. I'm gonna give all this paint a few hours to dry, and I'm gonna come back in with my background bit and I'm gonna knock that out. And then I've gotta mask it all off and shoot that black. <laughs> ah, you idiot. I'll be back. Okay, got it fixed. Now I'm gonna let this, all this paint dry overnight before I clear coat it. I'm gonna use clear satin polyurethane. Give it a coat to protect it. It's not gonna be outside, so. If it was gonna be outside, I would paint it with spar urethane because that's meant for outdoor use. And like I did the black, I'm gonna turn it all four sides, give it a good coat to make sure I get in all of the, all the crooks and nannies. <laughs> Let this dry for overnight. And then I'll hit the back with a quick coat, put the eyelets in and we'll be done. So here it is, all done. I've got it hanging, you can see it. I doubt it'll stay there. I'll put it somewhere else, but I just wanted to show you the finished product. So thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you like my little sign. It's my, uh, my channel logo, so I think I'm gonna figure out a way to put it in the opening title and shorten that down quite a bit. I'm still working on getting all this thing set up the way I like it. I'm, I think my intro runs a little too long. So I appreciate you sticking with me. Thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. I really do. Please like and subscribe. Come back and see us. Like I said, my next project is going to be finishing off this multi-axis three-sided uh, box, uh, hopefully with a twist. So come back and check it out.